Welcome to another Friday night. This is On Fire Family, and this is Happy Hour. Cheers. 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 But we are joined this week by Dustin Kidd. He is owner of Bourbon City Yacht Tenders, and he is here to deliver our amazing Highfield 340 Classic with the FCT console so we can drive it from a steering wheel. Uh, we have dreamed of this tender uh, since we started our loop, uh, uh, even before we started our yeah, loop. Since yeah, since we met him at the rendezvous. Yeah, so we um, <laughs> got to test drive a high field at the fall rendezvous last year and just fell in love. And so although it took Link us- Link below to that video. <laughs> yeah, so, so although it took us 70 videos, yacht shopping happy hours, mm -hmm. to pick this boat, our Cruisers 4450, um, we knew exactly what we wanted uh, when we uh, went to choose a tender. And so we have Dustin to thank for that. We have Dustin to thank today for bringing our tender. Um, but let's talk a little bit about your story because sure. you've done the Great Loop. Absolutely. Uh, you're passionate about these tenders mm -hmm. um, because of some of your experiences on the Loop. So tell us about how you got uh, into this, uh, okay. why Highfield, and why this is the sweetest tender uh, <laughs> that we're going to have. <laughs> yes. So my story is I was in corporate America for 14 years and decided to want to do something different. And at the time I was doing a more of a liveaboard in Louisville, Kentucky, and I just purchased my Hatteras, or my, I'm sorry, I had a Hatteras, but I then I got the Chris Craft 501 to do more liveaboard. And I bought it down in uh, Florida and I was bringing it back and I kind of met some loopers along the way and I knew we could go from here to here, but then I was like, oh wait, you can go all the way around? Mm -hmm. So I did my research on it and I kind of set my goal to say, hey, when I retire, that's what I want to do but it just so happened kind of life kicks in and you know I'm not exactly retired mm -hmm. and of course so that's a long way off so I looked at like somebody like my father that was three years into retirement had some health issues and I didn't know if tomorrow was going to be given yeah. so I'm like you know what Preach. Yeah. exactly and I was like you know what now's the time to do it I quit my job set out and I gave myself a year to do it and hopefully I could do it which I did which is awesome and I completed it it was one of the best decisions I ever did um, and so on my loop you know I kind of and this is kind of how I talk to people about selecting a tender is you know a lot of times your loop boat comes with a, a dinghy like mine came with what exactly what you guys had is like the the fiberglass west marine and mm -hmm. When you use your tender day in and day out on the loop, especially if you have a dog, you're going to shore, mm -hmm. there's certain creature comforts you want. And it happened to be I wanted a steering wheel because I was tired of a tiller mount. I mean, I think of all the different places I would have explored mm -hmm. if I were to have a steering wheel and had something comfortable. Right. Yeah. The other thing I wanted is, and I didn't know what it was at the time, was called a, uh, the, the, the dead rise. I want a higher dead rise. That's nice. So the water isn't always coming over the yeah. front. Our uh, kids, we have some pretty good footage yeah. of them just being swamped. Oh, yep. absolutely. Yep. And, uh, and then the other thing I wanted was a double flooring. Yes. yes. Which, when the water does come in, it goes to the bottom and it goes underneath and you're not stepping in or you're not tripping on fuel tanks or fuel lines. And I mentioned this to a friend, so I did the loop, came home, I was in the market for a new tender, and I mentioned it to him, I want a new tender, and so he happened to be at like a boat show or something and saw a high field. Mm -hmm. like, he's like, I think this is what you're, mm -hmm. you're describing to me. He took a picture, and I called the dealer that day, I was like, hey, is this still for sale? Here's my credit card, I'm buying it, <laughs> bought it, literally just sight nice. unseen, went up that weekend, it was in January, and then... Uh, brought it back home and then when the season hit everybody loved it. It was actually the darker color which mm -hmm. you guys have mm -hmm. uh, Mine was actually a little darker. So it really stood out and really popped. So when when you come down the uh, Come down the river mm -hmm. where we are people are like that's different and they're like, oh, that's cool So where did you get that and my business partner and I we always joke that we were on the back of uh, his boat having bourbon mm -hmm. and everybody was asking me about the boat and they were like I wonder what it takes to be a dealer and so I, I graciously got a hold of uh, Highfield North America, Tom Watson. And so he, we kind of explained my story of what, how I'm involved with boating, what I did with the loop, uh, my business partner, how he's connected to the community in boating. And we kind of pled our case and said, hey, and he just so happened to be looking for a dealer in the Midwest. And so he granted us the dealership. And so that's kind of been 
ever since. I mean, it's is it easy to sell something you love? Yes. I mean, that makes it, it amazing. It's, it, uh, yeah. as you, get, you see, I'm very passionate about yeah. it. Yeah. And we always joke between my business partner and I, you know, we thought this would kind of start off with like, hey, we'll get some cool boats for us and mm -hmm. then maybe sell to a couple to our friends, which has opened up this whole new universe to us. And I remember talking to him and saying, hey, I think we should take, uh, I think the lowest sponsorship for the AGLCA was 600 bucks. He's like, ah, you know, we don't need to do that. That's a waste of money. I'm like, I'm doing it anyway. I think this is a great deal. Mm -hmm. And if you talk to him now, he's like, that's the best $600 <laughs> we've spent. So, it, but it was for me, you know, doing the loop and you'll talk to, you'll hear a lot of people that complete the loop that are some of them are fortunate enough to keep going, but it's the people like myself that got to do the loop and then that void was empty. So obviously I wanted to kind of connect into the boating scene. Um, I wanted to stay, do something on my own, which is I'm passionate about my own business. And that's why I did the Bourbon City Yacht Tenders. And so this kind of kept me involved with the loopers and I get to talk to folks like you or Jackpot or all the other ones out there uh, that I've sold to. And you know, I get to come to cool places and kind of see the loop again. So this is my kind of, being yeah. back in it without being back in it and having the expense. <laughs> yeah. Well, we really appreciate that you're an AGLCA sponsor, that you came to the rendezvous, mm. that you pour into this community mm. that um, well, thank you. You, you were a member of. And then yeah, I did a lifetime membership. As soon as I got done with my loop, I did a lifetime membership, mm. which is cool because I have my, you know, I have my white flag and then I have my gold flag and now I got a blue flag, oh, which is cool. Right, so yeah. now I need the uh, platinum flag. Uh, so it's right, the only go one. Go around so, again. Yeah. We're, we'll, set, we'll set our goals and see what happens. <laughs> Life goals. Absolutely. All right. Well, it's, it's a warm evening. We've uh, got our bourbons courtesy of uh, Dustin. So thank you for bringing yeah, that as well. And, well. and we're going to go for a dinghy ride. Right. Yeah. But we'll also link to the review we did of his looper boat. That's that right. We oh, that's really right. want I, his Cruise Craft 501 <laughs> that I really wanted I to buy, that. but it was like a year too early. For it was us like to our buy. second video we ever made yeah. was, was like, reviewing heck yeah. on Yacht World Dustin's great loop boat. Yeah. So we will put that. a link below and oh, uh, you can check that out because uh, we. We, we've grown a lot in our video making yes. since then, but uh, we still are in love with that. We just passed a Chris Craft 501 in <laughs> Mackinac really? Island, no a looper kidding. that just crossed their way, mm -hmm. and we're still in love. So yeah. <laughs> awesome. Anyway, thank Good. you for joining us. Absolutely. Dustin. Thank, thank you, you for guys the, for having us. The, the kick butt the tender delivery. that we've got, yeah. and thank you for the bourbon. Yeah, Thanks look, for spending some time. Uh, I look forward to following your journey. Awesome. All right. Cheers. Cheers.